Okay, good morning, students. Today we will discuss the potentiometer. It is device that for it has definition, principle, construction, working, theory, etc. Then first, what is the definition of potentiometer? Potentiometer is device which measures the EMF and the potential difference accurately. Now, here I have drawn a schematic diagram of potentiometer. Generally, the length of the potentiometer, the length of the wire is used in the potentiometer is minimum 4 meter, maximum 10 meter. It is length of the potentiometer lies between 4 meter and 10 meter. I have taken here 4 meter potentiometer means this is 100 centimeter, another 100, here another 100, here another 100, 4, 100 centimeter means 4 meter, 4 different 4 wires are connected by this connector, copper strips, totally fixed on a wooden block. Now this is the point A and A point is connected to the positive terminal of the battery, this is the battery combination of cells and there is a voltmeter connected between the terminal A and the jockey between the jockey and A point A is the initial point, starting point from here the length of the wire is taken as 0 and this is voltmeter positive negative here is the battery, here is the key, here is the test Rheostat and this terminal, last terminal B, B terminal is connected to this rheostat. Now the jockey will slide on this wire from A to this, again from this direction, the direction is given, only the jockey can move in this direction. Now, what is the principle of potentiometer? So generally, the principle of potentiometer, what is the principle that when a constant current is passing through a potentiometer having <coughs> uniform area of cross section, then the potential difference is directly proportional to the length of the wire. Means on current must be constant and the wire must be uniform cross sectional area or uniform cross sections of the wires. Then let this J point from A to J, this is length L. This is the length L and the remaining part is. 400 minus L. Now at this point I have to find out the potential difference. Now from Ohm's law, V is directly proportional to I means V is equal to IR, but R is equal to rho into L by A. L means length of the wire, M is area of cross section of the a j this in this much this is the length L. Now V can be written as I into in place of R I can write rho into L by A means V is equal to I rho into L by A or V is equal to I rho by A whole into L. As the current is constant, A is the constant means uniform area cross section. Rho is the resistivity of the conductor of the wire. Resistivity is the same constant. Therefore, this total factor is a constant. But since I rho by A is a constant, therefore V directly proportional to L. Or I can write V is equal to K into L. Means K is a constant that is I rho by A. Therefore, K can be written as V by L which is known as the potential gradient, volt or potential difference or unit length. This is the K, the proportional constant here is known as the potential
can add it whose unit SI unit is volt per meter and dimensional formula can be calculated from this formula. If I plot the graph between L by taking on the x axis and potential L on y axis, then a straight line will be obtained because V directly proportional to L, which is the principle of potentiometer. This is the required general configuration, general formula, general principle, and general diagrams of the potentiometer. Then we will discuss how the EMF will be compared by using a potentiometer of two sets, how the internal resistance is calculated by using a potentiometer of a cell, the two main applications of the potentiometer. First application is comparison of EMF of two primary cells. Here two primary cells are given. The, this is the first primary cell having EMF epsilon 1 and this is the second primary cell having EMF epsilon 2. EMF 2. There are two keys A and B. A is the key that is connected to EMF 1 and B is the key connected to second primary cell EMF 2. This is a fixed resistance box. RP galvanometer, there is a jockey connected. And this is the A means 0, 100, 200, 300, 400. This is the potentiometer OS. There is a battery connected here, there is a key and a new star that is connected to B terminal. A is always positive terminal connected and B is the negative terminal connected. Now, a constant current is passing, this is the principle, a constant current is passing through the potentiometer, let that be I. And this resistance box, the resistance is fixed at certain ohm. Then, at first, what I have to do, here, this is the key, this is another key, this key A inserted or the key is inserted between A and C. Now the terminal is connected and this is disconnected. Means EMF2 cell is disconnected and this cell is connected. Now I have to move the jockey J1, let it be J1 from A towards B. Now let at this point I will get the north point. If the galvanometer shows no deflection at this point, then this becomes L1. Let it be L1 means AJ1 is equal to L1. AJ1. Remember, AJ1 is equal to L1. L1 means the point at which the galvanometer shows no deflection due to the sliding of the wire on the sliding of the jockey on the wire where the key between A and C is connected or inserted. Let this be L1 then according to the principle of potentiometer the potential difference of EMF is directly proportional to the length. Now EMF1 is equal to KL1. K is the constant known as the potential gradient. Now this is equation 1. Next comes to the second primary cell having EMF 2. Now the key between B and C is inserted. Means this is removed. Means this is disconnected, this is connected. Now similar process, move the jockey on the sliding wire from A starting from A. And let at certain point J2, the null point is found in the galvanometer means AJ2 is equal to L2. AJ2 is equal to L2. Let it be. No, remember there is only one copy. I have taken for two different different cells that J1 and J2. But actually, 
that is a moment now according to the principle of potentiometer emf2 is directly proportional to f2 means emf2 is equal to k into k is constant potentiometer does not change therefore the potential energy does not change k remains constant that is emf2 is equal to k n2 this is equation 2 now what i have to do compare means ratio divide them to equation 2 by equation 1 and cmf2 by emf1 that is equal to k2 by k1 or emf2 by emf1 is equal to n2 by n1 or emf2 is equal to n2 by n1 into emf1 this is the required formula or conversion between the comparison of two emf to primary cells to emf of two primary cells by using a potentiometer in this method and this is the simple circuit diagram of potentiometer when we compare the two emf by using the potentiometer this is the required expression or comparison of emf of two primary cells now second application is the, to find the internal resistance of a primary cell by using uh, potential vector now this is the diagram here i have taken this is the primary cell whose internal resistance is to be calculated this is there are two keys this is k1 and this is k2 this is a resistance box having fixed resistance and also here a total resistance box is connected and this is galvanometer jock key this is k1 a primary another key of the battery or the potentiometer this is the battery this is dual stack a terminal key terminal total length 400 cm now i have to let the internal resistance of this cell is smaller and the constant current according to the principle of potentiometer a constant current capital i is flowing through the potentiometer first what i have to do first close the key k1 this is the key k1 this is the key k2 first i have to close this key k1 and open the key k2 means this is in closed condition this is in open condition then the constant current is passed through the cell and now slide the jockey on the wire of the potentiometer let at some t the galvanometer shows no deflection means till to find the null point on the of the galvanometer let us observe at this point the galvanometer shows no deflection means this is the null point now this is let l1 the according to the principle of potentiometer the potential difference is directly proportional to length means emf is directly proportional to l1 or emf is equal to k l1 this is equation 1 now comes opposite now key k2 close the key k2 and open the key k1 this is in open condition means a potential drop will be drop let it be v according to the same principle now slide the jockey remember this is in closed condition and this is in open alternate just alternate the keys and the slide the jockey on the sliding wire or wire of the potentiometer till a non point is obtained let at certain point non point galvanometer shows no deflection this is led to l2 means the potential drop v is directly proportional to l2 according to the principle of potentiometer or v is equal to k l2 this is equation 2 
Now I will get two equations, equation one and equation two. Now I will get divide the equation one by equation two or E M F by V is equal to E M F means K one by V is equal to K two. K K cancel out. E M F by V is equal to K one by L two. Now from the relation of E M F and internal resistance and current, the E M F is equal to capital I. Thank you. 